We have to just start off with Kaba <laughs> here. Uh oh. What do we oh, see? What does he see? I don't know. <laughs> she didn't like the pillow earlier. Uh, okay, you know? yeah, I don't think she let's This move, actually okay. works we're perfect gonna, with our segment. We're gonna, we're gonna move the <laughs> pillow. Okay. Why doesn't right. she like the pillow? You know, Kava, the it, rainbow dog, is killing me. This and is that's so the cute. interesting thing is, you know, you may know your dog perfectly well, right? I take her, we actually um, are a therapy team, and we go to the Texas Children's Hospital. She sees all sorts of things. But a weird pillow, and she's a little nervous. So on Halloween, how many weird things are there? Lots I mean, of sounds. A lot. Yes, there's a lot <laughs> happening. The yes. doorbells are ringing, yes. and for sure. Let's start off with the first thing, especially if you want your dog to be in costume for Halloween. How do we go about selecting it? So again, know your dog and understand uh, what their tolerance level is. So I'm gonna go out and say it right here. Ringo is a champ with this Olaf hat, but most dogs <laughs> do not <laughs> appreciate things on their head. Yeah, Ringo's like, what What costume? Yeah. They'll just take it, they'll take it off anyway. So a lot of times that won't work out well. So I would avoid that. And Ringo is our Olaf over here? Yes. Our Olaf. yes. Very cute. He's just loving it. <laughs> He's into it. Also, when ringing the doorbell, uh, what are things to be aware of? Because I guess both if you're trick-or-treating with a pet and also if you have pets inside the house, the doorbell ringing can be a little... Uh, stressful for yeah, some dogs. Absolutely. So, uh, Fourth of July and Halloween are the two days where the most pets get lost from their home. Oh no! So you actually have to be super aware of making sure that your pet is comfortable during those um, special holidays. So for all of that doorbell ringing, I would suggest absolutely having your pet if they're crate trained in a crate. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes, what we'll do at our house is put them up in one of the bedrooms, give them some uh, treat toys, you know, stuffed with peanut butter or something good. Um, put on a TV or the radio to help with some of that noise and let them just hang out. There's no reason for them to have full access to the house and be right. run into the door barking and scared every time that the doorbell rings. Yeah. Yeah. It might be honestly, scary for your trick-or-treaters. Absolutely. Too. And then opening and closing the door, all of that. Yes, so that just absolutely. adds in another layer. There's also the layer of safety when it comes to handing out all the candy. I know when my kids come home from trick-or-treating, the big thing that they like to do is see who has what. Yes. And they start trading, so all the candy goes on yes. the floor. So if we have our animals around, obviously we don't want them getting into the sweets. Yes, so obviously the, the Halloween decorations, all of that is an issue, but the candy can really make them sick. So you have to be super careful of that and make sure you keep that out of their, out of their reach. Let's talk about uh, the importance of having a well-trained dog. Like if you're taking your dog out trick-or-treating and your dog is not very well-trained, is that a reason to just avoid it altogether? You know, I think for a lot of us, it's probably easier and less stressful for all parties involved just to leave them at home. Mm -hmm. um, again, you just don't know what kind of people you're going to meet while you're out trick-or-treating. There could be kids or even adults who are terrified of dogs. And so you're, you're kind of, you know, making a difficult situation for everybody. But that being said, um, certainly the three of us, we take our dogs everywhere. We love going out with our dogs. And so if you have a really well-behaved dog that you can control and that can be happy and stress-free in an environment like that, right. then, I mean, go for it. But you've got to make sure you put the correct collar on them. No retractable leashes, please. <laughs> Bring some treats so you can reward them if they're behaving really well. Um, and just watch their behavior. Same with choosing a costume. If you're out like that for any length of time, make sure you're checking for the dog being anxious, panting a lot, um, getting spooked by things. Yeah. And, and be aware of that and know that you have to be an advocate for your pet and take them home if they're not if they're not feeling it. And also put uh, maybe a reflective collar or something because you're out, it's a little yes. bit darker, there's lots of people, cars, and people, you know, unfortunately aren't paying attention yes. to. I'm sorry, y'all, Ringo, <laughs> uh, he's just living his best life. Olaf. This is the cutest thing. He's like, what, what costume? And little Elsa on my lap is like, let me go, <laughs> let me go. <laughs> See? Amazing. <laughs> I mean, this is just, it's so funny. Okay, so if you're, if you feel like the pet really isn't going to, your dog isn't going to kind of enjoy itself on Halloween, you know, we spend the night somewhere, have a little Absolutely. party. Absolutely. I happen to know a great place. So at Meadow Lake, we offer overnight lodging, we have daycare, so there's plenty of opportunities to leave your pet in a place where they can have fun, they can enjoy a cool Halloween party, which we're doing for all the dogs at both our lo locations on the 30th, um, and they can be safe. They can have a great time, and then you don't have to worry about them.
Yeah, and these holidays are so fun for us. It's important we think about the pets. July 4th is really the other day yes, during the, the year when most uh, fireworks scare off the dog, so they run away from home. Absolutely. So you have to be prepared for that. And You know, there are other holidays, too, that are probably a little nerve-wracking, but those two are the biggest, and you really have to prepare and, and know what your plan is for the day. All right. Well, Laura, thank you so much for stopping by. And to all of our lovely, sweet, well-behaved pets, thank you as well. They're handlers. For more <laughs> info, you can head on over to our website. Look for the scene on Houston Life section. We'll be right back. Thanks so much, you guys. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Uh, look at his face. <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs>